Earth's moon was created some four and a half billion years ago, formed by a cataclysmic impact between Earth and another celestial body. Since the dawn of civilization, it has remained a source of wonder and mystery, as well as the stuff of legends. Hello, I'm Carl Sagan Salvia. As much as we long to explore the vast, endless expanse of the cosmos, every journey must still begin with a single step. And for mankind, our first step is on Earth's only natural satellite. Theoretically, one day we might see city lights sprawling across the great, craggy regolith of our moon, thanks to billionaires locked in a critical space race. But there is another, equally critical theory that could spell hope for humanity's future on the moon. And it all begins right here, on Moon Base Salvia, where today we will discuss this critical space race theory. Wait, that came out wrong. Hey, fuck you, NASA. I'm on the moon. That's right. Two-time big money space race champ. I did it again. Welcome to Moon Base Salvia. I built this place myself. Came up to the moon, built a moon base. It's actually very easy. Uh, there's no one here to stop me. So that's it. I'm the first person with the moon base. Oh, and as an extra fuck you to Jeff Bezos, I got the whole thing powered by Alexa. Hey, Eric, try not to fart and throw the whole moon out of orbit. Ha ha, very funny, Alexa. No, I'm serious. You could kill everyone. Oh, you're just mad your daddy didn't get up here first. And speaking of which, what the fuck is taking this guy so long? He's been talking about this for years. Introducing Blue Moon. All right, Joff, well, let's see what first runner-up's going to do to get to the moon. Uh-huh, okay, so this, this is what they're gonna do, and then, yep, then it drops some rovers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, That's it? What the hell are these clowns doing? I just... Look at my moon base. This shit rules. They're, they're, what's that, like a little water tower? Amazing deployment. Beautiful pictures, stellar job. Oh my god, I know you can do it. I love outer space movie. This here is just beautiful. Wow, equals beautiful. Nothing goes to space. Guess you're negotiating with ETs there. Because anyone believes moon is vacant, just go look at moon with high power telescope. You in for big surprises. Hell is waiting for you. Lies, lies, it's flat. There is no space. What a joke. Well, now I just feel bad for these guys. They're gonna look like such assholes when they get up here and see that my moon base was first. It's amazing how this comment section reads like every product review page on Amazon, in that it's 90% positive paid for garbage, and then the other 10% is a bunch of people with DIY personality disorders who I would never want to meet in my entire life. But I don't really give a shit because I'm already on the moon right now in my moon base. I beat everyone here, so the race is over, and listen, gerb gerb if you land any of those stupid-looking fucking things near me, I'm gonna rob everybody on board. And Jeff Postos. Yeah, it takes it takes a while to load. The internet kind of sucks up here. Ah, there it goes. All right, next. What's Elon up to? Why must beekeepers fight? Man, that guy is so weird. Well, time to go tell him to fuck himself, too, I guess. Oh, hey, Eric. Huh? Just wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood, man. Ricky and Elliot from Internet Today? What the fuck are you guys doing in my moon base? Who brought you lasagna? I must be experiencing some kind of moon sickness. What the fuck? Don't get us sick. Okay, but seriously, how did you guys get up here? We're your neighbors, man. We live right up the street. Up the street? Yeah, we built that moon base like a year and a half ago. So he just said, fuck it. Yeah. We built a moon base. I mean, it was easy. So you got here first. Who's really keeping track? Well, I am. Hey, you want to come over later and watch Whip It? It's the only thing we brought with us, and we've been watching it every night for 18 months straight. It actually still holds up. No, I'm good. I'm still kind of coming to terms with the fact that I'm not the person with the first moon base. Sort of a big deal for me. So, I'm a little heartbroken right now. Yeah, man, so uh, what, where should we put your lasagna? Yeah, like, uh, you know, pantry or kitchen? kitchen? Anywhere you keep extra food. Yeah, wherever the food is. Just put it anywhere. We got this big tasty lasagna for it. We'd love to go put it where all the rest of your food is kept. Kitchen. In. Why do you keep asking me where my kitchen is? We really need your food, Eric. Where's the rest of your food, Eric? Eric, food. If you need food, then why'd you bring me a lasagna? If you don't give us your food, we're going to eat you instead. There was never any lasagna, Eric. This flashback is brought to you by NordVPN.com slash big money. Oh, watch out behind you. 
Oh, nice kill, dude. Nice kill. Hey, uh, did I tell you guys about that moon base I'm building? What about the moon base? <laughs> Super expensive. How, how expensive? Uh, let's just say I'm using all my Nord money to build it. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know, nordvpn.com slash big money. They're my sponsor. Oh, oh fucking did it. Oh. You fucking sell out. How is it selling out if I just let you guys know that nordvpn.com slash big money keeps all of your internet data safe behind a wall of next generation encryption? <laughs> Ugh, Jesus oh. fucking Christ. Guys. What's the big deal here? I'm just letting you know that NordVPN.com slash big money protects you from DDoS attacks in your favorite video games. Not to mention it's peer-to-peer -peer friendly. Stop it. Give me some help, bro. I know it's good, a good service. It's a great service. But you don't need to be... I guess you can be free. Uh, yeah, free from people spying on my internet activity thanks to NordVPN.com slash big money. So the moon base. On uh, the moon base? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be sick, man. I'm gonna get this giant kitchen put in there, and I'm gonna just fill it with food. I'm gonna have food forever. Wait, who's this guy? Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm sorry I killed I killed you last time. Oh. Why does that keep happening? Well, I guess... Ah, forget it. Hey, uh, what's your favorite thing about NordVPN.com slash big money? My privacy, you know, man. Oh, I know. Plus, it lets you get around region block content with access to the global internet. I'm talking thousands of servers in 60 different countries. Use nordvpn.com slash big money on up to six devices simultaneously, including your mobile devices, with handy apps for both Android and iOS. Oh, okay, so you're just gonna set yourself on fire, huh? Uh, does anyone have a fire extinguisher? Oh, that works, too. NordVPN, help me find my father. Find your father? Oh. Okay, well, tell me more. No, not until you give me free NordVPN for two years. Best I could do is if you sign up today at nordvpn.com slash big money, you'll get huge savings on a two-year plan plus four months for free. All right, good talk. So, uh, guys, I, I guess I gotta go. I have a moon base to build. So, this is goodbye for now. And this is how we say goodbye on the moon. Oh, you guys don't want to run that way. I dropped a grenade over there. Oh, there it is. Man, I sure hope my moon base has air conditioning. Shoot for the moon when you get huge savings on a two-year plan plus four months free at nordvpn.com slash big money. I cannot believe how much of Eric's food we just ate. I can't wait to come back again next time and uh, eat Eric. Mm. Uh, hey, hey, guys, before you leave with all my food, is there anything else I need to know about the moon? Yeah, it's gay. The moon's gay? Check this out. Huh? Did you know the moon is gay? Cool, what the fuck is this? It's a good video, you're gonna like it. Okay, thanks I guess, and play. Did you know the moon is gay? It's true. He is. Wow, I had no idea. Anyway, we'll be back. We'll be back. Whenever you look up at the night sky and see the moon shining all by himself, you should think that moon is sexually attracted to other moons. And that's okay. But the moon has a problem. He's the only moon. At least he's the only moon in Earth's orbit. Oh, that, okay, that's sad. The moon is its own thing. Gay and alone. Hey, you know what tipped me off is when the moon joined Scientology. And post! Wow, I'll bet there's all kinds of stuff I still don't know about the moon. I better do my research. The moon is not what you think. What they saw will shock you. Looks like someone already did all the research for me. And play! The moon has an odd orbit, which means that the same side of the moon is always facing Earth. Wait. That's true. The moon orbits the Earth, and it always faces the Earth the same way. Now, you may not have thought about this before, but what's one of the interesting things that happens with that? You could always do things on the back side of the moon. You could do very elaborate construction projects. You could have very bright things going on. All these bright buildings, highways, roads. It could look like Manhattan. There could be all these ships coming and going, and you would never see it because you only see one side facing the Earth. That would explain everything. In 1970, Michael Vassin and Alexander Sherbakov of the Soviet Academy of Sciences advanced a hypothesis that the moon was a spaceship built by extraterrestrials or possibly humans in the past. The article, published in Sputnik magazine, 
was titled, Is the Moon the Creation of Alien Intelligence? Oh my God! The moon's a spaceship? And of course, whenever NASA has smacked the moon with a, 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 a serious uh, um, impact, it has reacted, in, in their words, like a gong, like a bell, as if it was hollow. Later, a NASA report would relate, the moon reacted like a gong. For about three hours, it vibrated, and these vibrations traveled to depths of 22 to 25 miles. A gong. This is exactly what the two Soviet scientists were saying. The moon is a hollow sphere, and the outside wall appears to be somewhere between 20 and 30 miles in depth. You have to give them credit for their big balls and leaving the comment section open. Psh, I know, right? Yo, if this bitch is hollow, then explain why all these billionaires want to send poor people up here to swing pickaxes in an ore mine. It doesn't make sense. I imagine Elon Musk or John Bombas have some communication with that Manhattan-sized city on the dark side of the moon to see if they can turn it into a lawless labor camp for Amazon employees who don't mind the grueling hours while surrounded by weightless piss bottles. I like a good conspiracy as much as the next guy, but I'm pretty sure if the moon was a hollow gong space Ship, we would have found a way to kill ourselves with it by now. Only spaceship I see here is this one. That's what it looks like when it's using its front thrusters to go in reverse. And post! Oh shit! Wrong moon base again! Jack? Sorry man, I, I, I thought this was mine. Oh my god, you have a moon base too? Right up the street. Looks just like this one. Also, Welcome to the neighborhood, I guess. <laughs> All right, thanks, I guess. So are you doing your YouTube show from up here too? Oh, no, 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 no. I have a body double. Yeah, but, uh, what? Yeah, I hired a guy with my same height and stature. Then I had doctors carve him up real good till he looked like me. So he does the show now. Cool, how's that going? Not good, he sucks. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I'm here to rob you of all your food. Oh my God, I knew it. Show me where the food is. Uh, you're a little late, man. The internet today guy's already robbed me. Shit! Well, which moon base are they in? How many moon bases are there? Oh my God, dude, there's tons. You should see all the TikTok moon bases out here. In fact, I just saw some little kid take whippets in his spacesuit and float away. Oh shit, is he okay? Ah, oh, no, dude, he's definitely dead. All right, see ya, stay safe. Well, actually, hang on, Jack. So what's your moon advice? Oh, sure, check this out. How do people keep sending shit to my laptop? Tang never, never went to the moon, Dick James. All right. Two types of Tang in the world. One is a drink, the other part of a girl. They say Tang number one went into space. Tang two like the moon, round in my face. Dick what is this, dude? Eric, do you want to survive out here? Do you want to be able to live on the moon? Then shut up and listen to the video. Okay. Moon night. All right, buddy, moon night. Let me tell you about a place they call NASA. They got bigger spaceships, but they ain't going no faster. They lied when they took us to the moon. <laughs> Selling Tang on the way, they think they were fools. So I'm telling everybody I can find about the truth that can help you free your minds. Because the knowledge is there, and they found the proof that Earth's a flat plane with a firmament roof. They ain't never went to deep space. Okay, you know what? This is uh, actually starting to grow on me. Tang never went to deep space. Dang, I gotta pop that Tang. Yeah, okay, you know what? Uh, this guy rules. Tang never went to deep space. We can't get off the earth. We can't leave this place. We didn't shoot Tang to the moon. It flew around in circles, came home too soon. Tang never went around the world. But hey, stop the press. Take out the Tang on that girl. Just sit Tang on my face. Cause Tang can't go into deep space. I mean, I guess so. I don't know what this has to do with the moon landing. But oh, there we go. All right, so he summed it up at the end there. Damn, great moon advice, Jack. And this is a perfect chance to show some actually good and proper moon etiquette. This was such a pleasant surprise. It reminded me of the old days of YouTube where you could find all kinds of offbeat content with earnest effort put into it. See, back in the day, exploring YouTube was kind of like exploring the surface of the moon because every step you took was new territory. You never knew what you would find next. And finding this video gave me nostalgia for those times, like being a kid again, staring up at the moon and wondering how many astronauts would eventually star in faked government footage to make it look like they went up there. Anyway, you're not kidding about that dome, man. I saw a pigeon bounce off that shit once but nobody believes me. In conclusion, great video, and I'm gonna send it to everyone I know, and they're all gonna love it too. Sincerely, I am currently on the moon. And post. Well, this has certainly been an interesting first episode of Moonbase Salvia, but don't worry, there's plenty more to come. I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna stay up here. 
Maybe next week we can go outside and take a look at some of the local... Not so fast, you freeloading moon rat. Oh my fucking god, this is like the most people I've ever had in a single video, and it's on the moon! What are you doing here, NSA Agent Hank? Oh, I don't work for the NSA anymore. Now I work for NASA, and you're occupying our territory. Oh, let me guess, Alexa ratted me out. Uh, no. You've been all over the internet posting about this moon base. And we can read that. Way to trust me, Eric, you cock smoker. Good grief, your Alexa's got a real mouth on her. Oh yeah, she's a horrible bitch. But hey, I got here first, man. Dibs. No dibs. This moon base belongs to NASA now, and NASA belongs to Elon Musk, who's flying up here to move in right now, so pfft, get out. You can't do that, this is my property. I'm a sovereign citizen. Yeah, and we're taking it because we're America. So get the fuck out. Grimes needs this room for a sword practice, dickhead. I don't give a shit about Grimes and her fucking swords. Where am I supposed to film moon base salvia if not right here? I don't know, go film it on a soundstage. That's what we used to do. Now pack it up. <sighs> this fucking sucks. In your bag, and get the fuck off the moon. And take my moon base. This is lame. Aw, boo-hoo, my life's not fair. Did you know the moon's gay? Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't have any, like, moon boyfriends or whatever, and it's a fucking gong. Elon Musk, the first one to launch a car into space. What? Eventually it's a gong. What are you talking about? The moon is a gong. I can't have moon base salvia. No one can. <laughs> Eric, I told you this would happen. Oh, shut the fuck up, Alexa. And with that, the moon was sent spiraling from Earth's orbit, destroying every city on Earth with massive tidal waves, obliterating every continent known to man, and killing everyone. This is Carl Sagan Salvia, signing off.